Hi, this is Darkin. I'm a concept artist and a freelance illustrator. And I've been working in the gaming industry for about six years now, uh, mainly on Magic the Gathering, World of Warcraft, and Warhammer. And this time I want to do a tutorial that's a little more involved than the previous tutorial I did. I wanted to have an actual illustration so I could talk about composition, lighting, eye flow, and also talk about um, composing an illustration with multiple figures. I also wanted to take some questions from the general audience, so I'm going to be answering those questions during the tutorial. If you noticed earlier when I started at Photoshop, I'm working at 300 dpi, and the tallest side is around 6,000 pixels, and I'm working in Photoshop CS3. So I'm not really sure about the composition, but I'm kind of just playing around, just trying to figure things out. So I'm sketching around a little bit and flipping the canvas and to flip the canvas I actually made it a shortcut so that it's just um, command F for my Mac and the equivalent could be control F for PC and the reason I just do that is so that I can flip quickly back and forth so that I can check my errors in my drawing so right now I pretty much have a lot of my elements in place so I'm just going in and trying to think more about actual design and just trying to render things out a little bit more before I start adding color and I pretty much always start in black and white and add color later through different types of layers and opaque painting and just the reason I start in black and white is because it's a lot easier for me to just dive into a painting and not worry about what the color scheme is going to be. I think it's just because I have a lot of work that I have to do so I, I can't spend a lot of time sitting around thinking of what I should paint because I'm already sitting around thinking about what I'm actually going to paint in the painting so I don't need to sit around thinking of what the color should be as well. So I just need to start painting just out of a necessity to do more work faster. Now I'm going to go in and add some rust to his shield, maybe where some of these damaged parts are, there's some rust coming out of it. I'm just trying to dirty him up a little bit, and also to take some of that orange from the fire and place it around the image just to give it some more harmony. And I'm going to change the color of it as well, just to add more variety of the rust. Like when you're painting something, don't just stick to one color. Um, try shifting the value and shifting the hue. Just to add more interest, not make everything look the same. And I'm going to go in and add some of this blue as well. Taking some of the blue from the background and adding it into the actual figure. Again, I'm just trying to get some more harmony in the piece I'm not sure how much I want to render his hair or if I want to leave it a little abstract so I'm just going to go in and carve out some of the parts of the background a little more I always have this hard time of trying to get the right edge control on things in the background as opposed to things in the foreground. So that's one thing that I'm still trying to work on. A lot of times it, I feel like my image is really fuzzy. So I think I just need to go in and harden some of the, the lines up a little more. I'm actually getting really close to finishing this illustration up. I mean there's just a few little things that I need to, to refine a little bit more but it's pretty much finished. I have most of the elements in there and refined to the point that I need to get them to. And that's the tricky thing, trying to decide when you're finished and when you're not. So yeah, now at this point I'm still going back and trying to figure out if I want that dust layer. But I, I ended up pulling most of it out. Usually when you think you're done, you're not really done. You have like 5 or 10% more to go, so good to take a break from your image and then go back to it and then usually things will jump out at you that you need to fix or change or add.